poor gut health, acid reflux, lack of bowel movements, too many bowel movements. If it has to do with your gut and digestion, it is probably one of the most common things that I see in my practice. I've been helping people fix their digestive health for 25 years. And besides having to work on diet and lifestyle changes, there's actually one thing that I recommend to just about everybody that is super simple and it's inexpensive that you can do at home to help your body start to improve the digestive process. Now, before I show you that secret, I wanna tell you just a little bit about how your body actually digests food. Your stomach actually needs acid. It has hydrochloric acid in it and your whole digestive system works on pHs. So you have a low pH, meaning high acidity in the stomach, and then it moves through to the next section, which then goes to a high pH, a more alkaline state, and then it flip-flops like that throughout the digestive process. And there's a reason for that, because in order to break down and extract certain nutrients, the gut has to be able to have these different chemical processes in different parts of the gut, in order to get these, these, your food down into small enough particles, these micronutrients, so your body can then absorb them. Well, when you don't have enough acid in your stomach, you won't break down those food, the food into small enough particles, and that will affect how the whole rest of the gut functions. And when it comes to acid reflux, if you don't have enough acid in your stomach, it doesn't signal the valve to close at the top or the bottom, really, and so if it doesn't close at the top, then the acid will back up. So I know it sounds counterintuitive. You need more acid in your stomach, but that's what's going to signal your brain, signal your nervous system to close the valves so that your body can digest properly. So what's the one secret that I recommend to everybody? Super simple. It is raw apple cider vinegar. A tablespoon of water about 20 minutes before you eat is all you need to really increase the acid production in the stomach. And what that'll do is that's gonna start the digestive process so that you can break your food down properly so that you can get to the nutrients that you need so your body can continue to heal itself. Now, um, the reason I say raw apple cider vinegar, so you can see how cloudy that is. So this has tons of beneficial bacteria that's going to go into your body and be synergistic and help to rebalance your gut. And this alone can sometimes help to restore the balance of the good flora or the, or the good bacteria. And I say sometimes because sometimes if you are so chronic in your digestive issues, you may need some more intervention. And that's where getting it with a good functional medicine doctor will help you or a functional nutritionist can help you figure out, test to see what's actually going on. But try this first. Now, I also recommend if you have bleeding ulcers, if you have a history um, like that, you do want to be very mindful. This is where you absolutely would want to work with a practitioner who knows how to guide you through. So don't try this if you've had bleeding ulcers, but if you're just somebody who hasn't had um, good luck with your digestion and you just need something more, you, just, you might want to try a little bit of the apple cider vinegar in water 20 minutes before you have a meal. Um, it's actually going to be make you feel really good. I find if I do get acid reflux, which is very rarely, I'll actually put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in sparkling water and I'll drink that. And sparkling water is actually acidic too. So I'm putting the more acid in my stomach and that takes care of my acid reflux just like that. And like I say, it's rare, but when I do get it, I just use a natural way because I know my body needs that extra help. So listen, I hope that helps. If you're suffering from acid reflux or some other digestive issue, let me know in the comments what you think and if you ta actually take apple cider vinegar. And also, feel free to use it on your salad, you sprinkle it on your vegetables. You can use it in so many different ways too when you're having it raw. I would say, you know, suggest like don't necessarily cook with it so that you can keep it in its raw state and maintain those beneficial bacteria to help your body improve its digestive process. So that's your first step. And then we could go into a lot of places from there. But if, you're, if you want to start doing that, it's inexpensive. You're not having to buy supplements. You're not having to swallow pills. It's a great first place to start to see if acid is the problem and you need more of it. All right, guys, please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And again, I always appreciate you being here, helping me grow this channel. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great night.